I just got your message, sweetie. How'd you sleep last night? My daughter just had a baby, and it wasn't um, a normal, you know, everyday delivery at all. I thought if I let this go long enough, you were going to figure it out. But I know that you're, like, really hurting now because you wouldn't have sent that message. Things go wrong. And even if everything went right, like, you need your mom. I'm going to, I'm figuring it out, OK? I'm figuring this out today, all right? My family will always be first. Once you become a mom, you're always a mom, even when your kids are older. Nothing is more important. There she is. I've been wondering where you've been. Where's I? We were just talking about you. Come in here and join where us. Where have you been all day? Are you OK? Oh, Joan? Um, got a text this morning that I have to go no. back no. and be a mom. No. It's yeah, my, my family needs me. And like, I selfishly came here to do this. And my heart is breaking that I'm leaving. And I um, wish I could be here for this whole journey. You just had a connection. I know, I know. My heart's breaking. I know how bad you wanted to be here. I can't imagine, especially after having the date and got the rose. It makes it even harder for her. I hope that um, one of you finds love with Gary because I gotta tell you, he's just a really, honestly, I know everybody keeps saying this, he's a really amazing guy. I woke up this morning feeling like a million bucks. I'm going to a one-on-one -on -one date today, and last night my time with Joan was very revealing. We had a pretty nice connection. Okay, guys, oh, this is the hardest part, the last hug. I am very hopeful. Going forward, I don't expect problems. I only expect to build that connection, and it's a nice feeling. Well, hi there. You're looking handsome. Thanks. I'm, I'm surprised to see you out here. Yeah, I, I'm sure you are, and I'm wondering if I could talk to you for a couple minutes. Absolutely. Okay. So, um, first thing I want to say to you is thank you so much for last night. It was one of the best nights of my life. Like, our connection was, like, so deep, and um, it's, like, the first time that's happened to me since my husband passed away, honestly. And I um, was, for the first time, envisioning a life with somebody else, which it was just like amazing and I felt like it like healed my heart like a lot, honestly. Um, and as you know, it was really hard for me to come here. Yes. Um, and since I've been here, the things that were kind of playing at home um, haven't gotten any better. And I got a text this morning and I think that I need to go home and be a mom right now. <laughs> so as much as I don't want to leave and I don't want to leave our journey, I gotta be a parent. And I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go home to my kids. And I. So I understand. I, I knew you I, would. I get it. I understand. But I can't tell you how disappointed I am. I was on, I was so excited this morning. I was out of bed dancing. Oh, um, I was thrilled that we had a conversation like we did. But there's a moral compass that we both share. Yeah. And, and, Sometimes the right thing to do is the hardest. Although I know I'm doing the right thing for my family, I feel like I'm doing the hugely wrong thing for us. Oh, Joan. Sure. I understand. I'm so disappointed. Me too. I'll be with you. Thank you. And thank you for being like the best person ever to go on this journey with. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you. Yeah. It felt really good last night, honestly did. It felt, I was so joyous. Like I walked out of there feeling so happy and like had a vision of what like, like could be like. The kind of just the beginning of like, like what we were discovering about each other. All right. It worked out way better than I ever thought it would. I met like a pretty incredible man. Like I really want for him, I, I want him to be happy. He's a really, really good guy. I 
hope one of my good friends back there gets to spend their life with him because I think he's worth it. My heart, maybe he's got a little fix from Gary. He helped. He's helped with the journey. Because as you get older, you become more invisible. People don't see you anymore. Like, you're not as significant as when you're young.